Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys a pretty awesome product. And this is a product that if you work in an environment where, you know, uh, that you are allowed to listen to music and it's a great way to pass the time or audiobooks or whatever you may listen to, this is a great device in order for you to still be able to enjoy your content but not actually be completely distracted by wearing a set of over-ear headphones or in-ear headphones or turning up some speakers loud enough where you're, or like a Bluetooth speaker where you might disturb others. So this is the device right here and these are neck headphones. And how they work is you have four different speakers that are up firing and you basically just put this right around your neck and these speakers, again, it's not 100% perfect but they're in line with roughly where a human human ears would be. Um, so naturally you can see by the video here, right here is where my ears are. These are directly almost centered on my ears. And what these do is just basically send the audio up towards your ears and allows you to listen to music, listen to your content, an audio book, whatever you may want to listen to without having to one, disturb others, and two, be distracted. And I know there's plenty of times uh, where I may be working in the yard or, or I may be working uh, just at my desk or around the house, um, or in times with my last job where we were allowed to listen to some music, but we weren't allowed to listen to, to wear headphones. We were allowed to have a little bit of a little Bluetooth speaker, and I always found it just kind of rude to others. I didn't want to, you know, uh, you know, put my audiobooks out there for everybody to hear. Uh, this is a great way to be able to listen to music and your content again without distracting others and without you being distracted. And I don't really, you know, especially. When I'm gonna go on a jog or a run, even when I, when you know, in those years where I used to lift weights, which I need, I'm gonna get back into that now. But you know, I never really liked to wear headphones because you, I don't really like to not hear what's going on around me when I'm out in public or around other people. I tend to really like to be aware of my surroundings. Uh, jogging, I remember one time I was jogging and I almost got hit by a car just because, even though you can look around, you you just you're you don't realize how important your hearing is until you're you know you're wearing a big set of headphones or you don't have it and. You, and, and there's other distractions around you that normally you would hear. Uh, you know, when you're walking down the road, you'll hear a car coming. Whereas, you know, that one day it was pretty stupid, but um, I ran out in front of the street, just, you know, not even thinking about it, just in, in the zone. And so something like this is great because you could still get a little bit of the audio quality and still be able to hear what's going around you. A uh, perfect example of stuff or other uh, careers or jobs uh, that utilize similar technology is when law, you know, uh, loss prevention or law enforcement, uh, anybody has to have that two-way communication, uh, wears a what's called a whisper headset. And what that is is basically it's a little headset that goes inside your ear and it's an audio tube. It's not a digital microphone. The microphone's actually on a chest piece that's clipped onto your lapel or your pocket or, your, or the inside of your shirt. And basically that audio travels from that microphone just through the clear tube and into the earpiece. But the earpiece is actually designed to just kind of sit just really like right in the center of your ear canal, but still have the rest open. So you can still hear what's going around you. You can still hear people talking, but it gives you the, I guess the, it simulates what it would be like somebody whispering, hence the name whisper, uh, whisper radios or whisper earpieces. So this is kind of similar to that in the fact you can still listen to your, your content, you know, again, ebook, music, whatever, uh, without being, no, again, it's not going to be blowing your eardrums out super um, super loud, you know, I mean, it's not really designed for super high quality audio. It's meant for the purpose. So these are absolutely fantastic. And I was talking to my brother-in-law the other day and he says he looked into stuff like this, but around some of the big box stores, they're like two to $300. The price on these is fantastic. And I know maybe if you pay more and you already go get a brand name and I don't know who actually makes these, that's going to be in like your big box stores, but, uh, you know, maybe the audio quality might be a little bit better. I don't really know. I've never listened to those, but let's face it. When you're the only way to really get a lot of quality out of earphones is really getting that driver over your ear and or in your ear, and that creates almost like, almost like a, um, almost like a speaker box sort of effect. Whereas you know normally when you listen to headphones, they don't have a lot of bass. So with these sort of being out in free air, being the drivers are very small, you're not going to get a lot of bass output, but you're going to get that mid range. You're going to get a little bit of treble, and you're going to be able to hear your content again without disturbing others for, for the most part. I mean, people still will hear what's going on here, you know, it, it, what's coming out of your headset. But the nice thing is all that audio is directed up towards your ears. So it's it, it gives you the, the almost like the impression that you're wearing headphones, but you're not. You can still hear what's going on around you. And again, audio is not gonna be super over the top loud, but you're gonna be able to hear it loud enough where you can still carry on a conversation with people, 
There's a couple different controls on here. So very, very easily, if you have this in your pocket, uh, connected via Bluetooth, you have a volume up and down control. You have a track advance on the side. So it's nice they put both those uh, on the sides where it's extremely accessible with your thumbs. Uh, I would say easier with your thumbs and your index fingers. You could easily turn this up and down, change the track. On the inside, you have a play or pause button, okay? And then of course, you have your a little cap right here Oops, sorry guys, where they have the micro USB port. Uh, you have an on off switch on the opposite side and a answer or hang up button so you could take calls. So if you're, you know, want to take this, uh, you know, let's say you're on a jog or you're at your office or you're at your desk, wherever you may be, listen to some content, you get a phone call, you can take the call right on this. So it's got two way audio. Um, it works just like a, a headset would. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I think this is fantastic. Uh, even if you're not really looking to, to take advantage of the audio, you know, part of it, or let's say you're, you know, maybe you're, you don't, you maybe you have a job, or or you can wear in your headphones and you like that better. Whatever your your situation may be, this is great just for the fact that you can use this as a two-way uh, headset. And I know I never really like to wear the Bluetooth headsets. Um, this works way better. I love to be able to put this on. I can take a call and I'm. I, it's not as bad, you know. We all know when you're on a speakerphone, it sounds like you're on a speakerphone. Uh, you got the, you know, the, the the phone up here trying to talk into it. Uh, you know, I think this is extremely convenient. I've actually taken a few phone calls on this, and I've used this to make a few phone calls, and I find it extremely enjoyable. Um, it's something that. I never like to just have an earpiece hanging out of my ear, you know what I mean? So this is something I can just sit at my desk, I can carry on a conversation, I can still get work done, I can still hear what's going on around me, I can still hear uh, whatever audio content is coming through here. So it's a fantastic device, the price point's amazing, $39.99. Um, I believe that's shipped to your door if you're an Amazon Prime member, don't quote me on that. Uh, double check the Amazon listing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's free delivery on this, so a pretty awesome device. I've been pretty impressed with this. Um, definitely something that I've never had before, uh, and it's definitely something I've been using quite a bit lately. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I review all different kinds of products, but lately I've been having a lot of uh, earphones and Bluetooth speaker companies, and I've been contacting a lot of companies uh, featuring a lot of these different products on the channel. Because, you know, I've said in the past that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good quality, good quality products, whether that be watches or that be clothing. Um, and again, there's no difference with audio. I mean, I've always used entry level audio. What's most important with this kind of stuff is how you set it up. And, you know, when it comes to car audio, your home audio, it's all about the setup, the placement. A little different on headphones, uh, but it's great to be able to get these devices because, you know, it is difficult sometimes to make a purchase uh, off Amazon or off eBay or off the internet and not actually hear it in, or, uh, when it comes to all these speakers, you know, not really know what you're going to get. And I can tell you, you're not going to get bass out of this. This is not a design for bass. You can see the speakers are very small. What it is designed for is giving you the ability, again, just to hear uh, what's going on around you and give you some enjoyment with listening to music, podcasts, you know, audiobook, whatever uh, it may be, with giving you the mid range. And just, you know, being able to, again, not be blocked off to the world. So I think it's a fine product. I think it's a great device. It's definitely something uh, that I've been using the last couple days and getting enjoyment out of. Um, I often thought that if you had a television, uh, my dad has a little bit of a hard time hearing the TV. Uh, so lately he's been using some headphones. And what's uh, what kind of sucks about it is he'll have the headphones on. We're hanging out watching a movie or TV, and you got to get his attention because the headphones are he can't hear what's going around you. Uh, with something like this, if you had a Bluetooth transmitter or if your TV's Bluetooth compatible, which our TVs are not, surprisingly, um, this you could use to watch TV. It's going to be a lot easier to hear the TV, and you know, again, you can still be aware of, of what's going on around you. Keep the volume of your TV real low. Um, let's say you have. I know a lot of the newer TVs have. Uh, Bluetooth. I'm surprised. I have two different, um, two different V's. My parents have one Vizio uh, set. It's not the E series. I think it's the M series. I have the E series, which is more like not the top of the line. It's more like the middle of the road. I'd be very happy with it. But on their website, it says it has Bluetooth, uh, but I haven't been able to find anything in the menus that it has Bluetooth, which would be nice, especially if you live with a lot of people, roommates. You know, uh, I don't, but you know, if you if you did live with a lot, you know. Um, people and you don't want to disturb them, maybe there's different schedules, this is something you could definitely get enjoyment, listen to your movies, games, whatever. Uh, again, you're not going to get uh, super high quality audio like you might get out of a set of gaming headsets or, or good quality larger driver headphones, but they're definitely purpose driven and I think these are 
absolutely fantastic. Um, another thing is technically it's illegal. I mean, if you don't have a stereo in your car, you know, uh, it's technically illegal to drive with headphones on. Uh, I mean, that might be different state to state. Uh, but something like this, again, your hearing is still, uh, it's not being obstructed. You can still get some enjoyment, listen to uh, whatever you want to listen to uh, without being closed off to the world. So uh, definitely check it out. Again, the company's called Bloonin. I want to thank Bloonin for their generosity and sending me these to review. $39.99 gets these to your door. Link is in the description. Definitely check them out. They have a different version of these as well. Um, it looks like they dropped the price on these because before uh, it looked like their other set, which I think only has one speaker. Uh, let me just go back here. The 929s, these are the 929s, um, which actually it looks like the 929s have um, two speakers as well. It's a different design. So I'm not really sure what the difference is. It looks like they're both $39.99. Uh, the, the 929 the standard 929s come with um, in a couple different colors. You can get the rose tone, a blue, or the black. Uh, these ones here, I think, look cooler. You get them in the silver, again, the black, or the um, the the rose, which I think it looks more pink, and which, hence, rose tone. But rose tone, really, technically, is supposed to be more like a copperish color, a light copper. But nonetheless, whatever your fancy. Um, the only thing I do see it's a little bit different here uh, between the two is that the, it doesn't say that these are uh, water, I use that term waterproof uh, very loosely because nothing's really waterproof. They're normally water resistant. It looks like the 929s are um, IPX4 sweat proof uh, and weather resistant, whereas these, it doesn't say anything about that. And I thought that these were the more expensive models. So not really sure what the difference is. Maybe these have the Bluetooth 5.0 technology. Um, a little bit more about them before I close on the video, a little bit more about the, uh, the uh, spe specifications. Um, again, Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, Qualcomm APTX technology. Uh, says adopt the most advanced 5.0 chip in Qualcomm APX technology. Uh, it says it'll connect within two, step two seconds to your Bluetooth device with stable transmission and lossless HD sound quality. Um, quadruple speaker system, 3D surround sound. Uh, it says there are four strategically placed speaker units designed to deliver the best 3D surround sound. Uh, and again, the hands-free calling. It says it has two 380 milliamp batteries to double your music time. Maybe that's the real difference there. Uh, up to 15 hours of music time on a single charge. So uh, again, you get that long music time, you get the ability to not be, you know, uh, not be completely distracted by uh, a set of big set of headphones on your ears or in your headphones. Uh, you're still aware of what's going on around you. So uh, definitely a set of headphones uh, for again for anybody who you know wants to be able to hear what's going on around them. And, and you know, and I, I don't know. I've never really had uh, too many jobs where they said, hey, you know, you can go ahead and just wear headphones and close yourself off to the world. Um, I think that. Um, these are definitely a good a good compromise if you even if you are an employer and you don't mind your employees uh, having a little bit of music while it's not disturbing others. This is a great way to be able to uh, allow them to do that without um, having them just be completely closed off to their surroundings. So uh, definitely check it out. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, don't hesitate to ask. My email address is in the description. If you do make a purchase, please do it through my links. It does help support the channel. If you like the content, subscribe, but do click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. For you Invicta lovers, I got eight coming my way here pretty soon, next couple weeks. So sorry there hasn't been a lot of Invicta watches. I've been work with so many different companies now that you know it just they come they go and we reconnect so there are going to be more watches as always uh, reviewed on the channel i just ended up selling uh one of my rockwell watches that's a great watch but i never really wore it all that much it was a deal that i i uh collaborated with rockwell watches uh, if you haven't checked them out check them out as well uh, i think they make some pretty cool designs uh, so I just sold that. So I might pick up another Invicta. We'll see. Stay tuned for a lot more fashion-related items, grooming products. Uh, you name it, guys, I share it on the channel. I love doing this. I enjoy, uh, you know, discovering new brands and sharing new brands. And if I can help you guys in any way, let me know. As always, have a wonderful day and take care.